Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today I'll be showing you Windows 10 build 15019 for PC and mobile. This build is the latest fastering build for Windows Insiders as part of the future creators update, which is expected to come out sometime of spring this year. I will note that these builds are buggy, and I wouldn't recommend installing them onto your main device. Now, in the last Windows Insider Fast builds, many users were reporting getting stuck at the Windows Update screen, not being able to get past the 0% install. This issue continues into 15019, however, it has been noted to be a visual glitch. In my case, after waiting it out, the update finally installed, and a restart button appeared in the Windows Update page. Starting right up here, you still aren't able to drag and drop apps from the app list onto the Start menu, and Cortana remains that questionable light gray color. Also, the store has been updated alongside this build, which now will show progress indicators in Action Center when downloading apps. This is an extension to the features regarding progress indicators I discussed in my last video on build 15014. Game Mode is a new experience in Windows 10 that's designed to optimize games for the best performance possible. You can find settings relevant to Game Mode in the settings, and when enabled, can be activated by opening the game bar in UWP or Win32 games. In addition to that, full-screen game bar support has been extended to 17 additional titles with this build. Now, as with news that we've been hearing, you can now start streaming gameplay and supported games live through the Windows game bar. The streams are broadcast through Beam, an online streaming platform that was purchased by Microsoft last year. I'm sure you've heard of it. Gamers beware, though, that black screens and crashes are common in many popular changes in these builds, so I would definitely think twice before installing them onto your main device. Opening up Windows settings as usual with these builds, we have a few new changes here. There is yet another section in the settings app, and it's dedicated specifically for gaming. You'll see it right away as it's represented by the Xbox logo, a bit off-looking in my opinion as it's the only icon in the settings page that isn't in a wireframe format. This section contains all the settings that were previously accessible only from within the Xbox app. I find this section quite handy, though, because the Xbox app hasn't always been the best performer in the world. You can actually open the game bar right here in the settings with Windows key plus G. Not guaranteed to work very well, but you can open it up to test some of the configurations you make in this settings page. Secondly, the holographic section that we saw previously is gone. We now have a mixed reality section. Not sure of the relevance of this, but it does seem to be hinting at some things in development for the future. Of course, I don't own any holographic or augmented reality devices, so I can't demonstrate any of the toggles on these pages. The blue light toggle that was introduced in build 15014 has been renamed from blue light settings to night light settings. Immediately, I noticed that within the page, the temperature configuration slider now has a black outline to make it more distinguishable from the background. This does make it a lot more readable, which I like. However, it still looks somewhat out of place. We'll see how it goes. In the continued effort to replace the control panel, a troubleshooting page has been added to the update and security section in the settings app. This page will help you solve various common issues with your PC by launching troubleshooters to attempt to fix the problem. Continuing again with the ebook support in Microsoft Edge, Edge can now read your ebooks aloud with a new button in the upper right of the window. The contemplation of happiness, of course, is not new. As you've just heard, the text is read aloud by the narrator. I'm sure that settings for this will be configurable in the future. Another small note that I'm sure many people would appreciate, emojis will now display in their full color form in Microsoft Edge. Nice for those of you who use Edge for browsing online forums and social media sites. As many of you may be aware, the Windows out-of-box experience was significantly altered in earlier Creators Update builds. I'm not able to demonstrate, though I can elaborate. The experience continues to be developed with this build, with many new additions that aim at making the experience as natural as possible. The voice is now recorded by actors, and the subtitles have been included for the hearing impaired. This setup will open an extended browsing experience for Wi-Fi networks that require further configuration, and the Microsoft account sign-in page was redesigned. In addition to all the things that I've discussed, there's also a plethora of bug fixes all throughout the system in this build. You'll certainly notice an improvement if you're a deep explorer. That isn't to say, though, that there aren't a whole bunch of issues, so be aware of that. Like I've said before, I highly discourage that you install these builds onto your main device. Not in that they'll cause your device to explode, but because you might run into an undocumented issue that prevents you from getting certain work done. Anyhow, this has been a quick update video with me, Cody, on Microsoft. 
If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and check out onmicrosoft.com to continue receiving updates about the future of Windows 10, Windows 10 Mobile, and the future Windows 10 Creators update. Thank you, goodbye.